The answer lies in understanding what is concentration, what is meditation, what is attention. Think of it with an example of a torch lamp that you have or a light that you have in your hand. Imagine you're in a dark room. You have a light or a torch light in your lamp which you can focus somewhere. If so you have one source, that source of light. Then you have the light which is coming out of the source. And if you put that light on an object, let's say a table or a chair, you suddenly see that object which was otherwise out of your reach. And if you keep on moving that light like this, you're not able to see anything because you're completely distracted all the time. You're only able to see when you are able to maintain the flow of that light towards an object for a certain amount of time, then you see, then that object is illuminated and you see that object, what is that object? Now if you take this analogy to yourself, you also have a source of light, that's your own consciousness. Let me repeat, the source of your light is your consciousness which all, we all have within us. The light is what we call as awareness. When we say, I'm aware of this, I'm aware of that, that is in the light of your consciousness, that light itself, you can think of it as awareness. When with that light, with that awareness, you can attend to something, it becomes attention, meaning you can point it somewhere, you can point it at an object, you can point it at anything that you would like to point and that ability of attention we have, that is attention. When you let that attention prolong for a while, when the flow of awareness is flowing undisturbed, it's known as concentration. In Sanskrit, we call it dharana, meaning uninterrupted flow of awareness. This is what is the source of all knowledge, all experience. Without concentration, you cannot experience, you cannot know the object. What is the object? If you are able to take this further, if the flow of concentration is uninterrupted, what happens is that your source, the consciousness, transcends closer to the object. And that is what is known as dhyana, meditation, where your consciousness is traveling towards the object. And that's how all these people had known whatever they wanted to know. If they wanted to know the cosmos, they traveled towards the cosmos. Their consciousness traveled, and when I say travel, not in the physical sense of travel, but the more you concentrate, the distance between the object and the observer starts to decrease. And that is what is known as dhyana, meditation in its purest form. There are lots of various variations in which we can interpret meditation, but in the, yog in the yogic sciences, in the absolute terms dhyana, this is what is meditation. And then there is one more higher stage which is out of scope for us, which is when the object and the observer and the observation, all three merge together. This is known as samadhi. This is for those who are crazy, who are not wanting this world, who are you know, who have a different goal in mind, who want to renounce everything and be in this state of samadhi where the observer, the object and the observation, all three collapse into one. We cannot go that far here and we are not going to attempt or try even thinking of that stage. But what we are going to focus today is to learn and practice a little bit more of concentration because this is something that is so much missing in our daily lives that even if we could take few 
improvements out of this session, out of the practice and bring it into our daily practice. This will tremendously impact the rest of your life, not only meditation.